Hi there and welcome back to Aid's Workshop. Well, I've kept you guys waiting long enough. Back onto the steam chest, we'll get this part finished off, shall we? Straight to the mill. So, having done all the turning work in the previous episode and not done any of the drilling, I'm just going to sit the part in my vise in the mill. So we're back to the mill. And I'm going to square it up against my good square. And... No need to overdo this, but just nip it up in the vise so it's tight. Okay, I'll just double check that. Yep, spot on. So, um, I'm going to pick up the centre, as we've done many times before. The centre this way, to get myself on a datum here. And then pick up this edge again, come over the 3 sixteenths, and we're ready then to do the internal features or the, uh, the drilling from this end through this uh, spigot. Okay, so we touched on both sides, did a Y0, found the centre, touched on this side, moved over to the 3 sixteenths plus 50 thou, so 2, 3, 7 and a half, and we're now back in our plumb centre of where all the holes are going to be. So, next trick is going to be up with my small chuck, the naught to quarter chuck. Um, that involves my 12 mil collet, not the 10, which I just used. And can't find my 12 mil collet. Yes, I can. There it is. That's the one that fits. So collet in the collet ring. In fact, if I put the... And i got enough room there, nearly. Up a bit. Okay. I'll tighten that up in the chuck. Or in the, we'll tighten the chuck in the collet chuck. So the first show, uh, first shown hold. No, the first hole shown on here is a 332. That's the smallest hole in this end. And I do have a, a 332 reamer, um, but you could drill it just as well. But a 332 reamer is what I'm going to use. Um, so what tapping drill am I going to use? Let's say a maybe a 2.2 or a 2.3 drill. I think we'll do a 2.3 drill. So I'll just get one of those. 2.3. Hold on. Can't grab hold of it. There we are. 2.3 drill. I think. Am I high enough? Not quite. Let's go up a bit more. That should do me. And I'm going to have this 2.3 drill here. And we're going to drill right down through this top half with a 2.3 drill. So, when we're running at 1300 RPM. There we go. Nearly break it through. Deeper than I thought. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's broken through. So, I want the spot with this drill, a mark on the bottom face. Let me just see if you can see that. You can. Uh, on the bottom face here. This drill is a lot more sturdy than the 1.8 I'm going to be using for the hole in the bottom. So I want the spotter centre. Now, I don't know if this is going to be long enough. It is. That's running nice and true. And I've just spotted a start point in the bottom for when the long series drill comes down through here to drill down through the bottom half. So that's a success. So I can remove that drill. And I think at this point, there's the little 330 second reamer. I'm gonna put that in. And we're going to size this hole. 
If I can get the reamer in the middle of the truck, we will. Come on. Here we go. Right, so. Let's slow down. That should do me. And we're through. That's that hole, 332nd. So, had to do very little work that. But, that's a 332 hole down through there. Now, um, 1.8 drill. So, I'll show you the problem I have with a regular 1.8 so if I take the regular 1.8 drill you can see I could probably spot that bottom yeah but with the length of the drill let's just put it against the bottom there only the tiniest little bit to grab on so that's why we've gone for the long series drill so I'm going to be getting the long series drill out now and then working out how deep it's got to go from that face from where I touch the long series drill up I think I'm going to bring my head down, get into that hole. It should be all clear in there, because that's a two, uh, 332. Come down so that I'm in the range of my quill travel. Okay, we'll call it there, and I'm going to lock my Z axis. So, I'm going to bring the drill down. Just till I hear a touch and set a zero. So now we need to work out a depth. So the depth appears to be about 1532 or about 468 so. So that's how deep we're going to drill it. So here we go. When we're running at 1300 RPM, I could probably go a lot faster than this. That's 200 deep. Let's speed that drill up a little. Three hundred deep. I'm taking this very gently. Four hundred deep. So bear in mind this is a seventy thou drill. I'm going four hundred and sixty eight thou deep. That's 450. And 469. There we go. So that's that tiny little hole done. And there is the slightest of chamfers where I touched with the initial drill on the top of that hole. So, so there's a tapped hole in the top of here. It's 316th 40 TPI. Um, I don't believe that's an ME or a model engineer thread. Um, turns out I do have a tap 316 Sporty TPI. Um, but I haven't, uh, I've got a die, but I haven't got a tap. So I'm going to have to get a tap on order now. Uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But uh, so anyway, I can uh, put the tapping drill in. Now it's a quarter deep. And the tapping drill is a four millimetres or near enough four millimetres. So the depth I'm going to go, if it's going to be a quarter deep, which is 250, I'm going to let this drill parallel out, which is there. Um, I'll go in 250. Which is 
there and I think I'll go in a further got plenty of meat in the bottom of there I'll go in a further maybe 20 thou I'm gonna go to 270 280 there we go so I've gone 30 thou deeper than the thread needs to be to allow for the tap uh, to lose the last couple of threads. So that's pretty much it done until I get my tap. So very gently. Got the tap in the chuck. I'm lying back up on centre. Slightest of downward pressure with the quill. And we'll put the taper tap in first. I can feel it bottoming there just so just relieving the pressure letting the tap push the quill up I've got my finger on the uh, handles on the quill I just felt it release okay so that's the taper tapping done so I think we'll get the second tap now <laughs> gonna lean over behind the behind the camera I find the second tap. There she is. You know what? I think I just went straight in with the second tap. I did. Anyway, not to worry. Cast is pretty forgiving. Just let the tap find the thread we've just put in. There it is. It's pulling down. So a little story about these taps, um, 3 16 40 TPI, uh, my go to for things like that, odd stuff, RDG tools, not sponsored in any way, um, so went on to RDG, RDG tools um, and ordered a set of taps, so waited you know, 4 or 5 days, the set of taps arrived and it said a set and I don't know whether you can see, I've got two second taps and a taper tap. No plug tap or bottoming tap came. So I thought, oh, well, you know, not, not a problem. Didn't come in a, well, they came in this little packet, not in a sort of plastic box, as you'd expect. Um, so, yeah, I rang up RDG Tools. You know, uh, excuse me, guys, um, I got two, two seconds and a taper tap. Oh, dear, awfully sorry about that, sir. Uh, let's have a look. Anyway, turns out the guy said I'll ring you back um, They didn't have a bottoming tap in stock. So they thought we'll put two seconds in and that makes a set Well, it doesn't does it? Uh, okay, well, I said no problem uh, Put you know if you haven't got one in stock put one on back order for me a plug tap bottoming tap whatever you want to call it um, You know, I'm more than happy. Uh, do you want me to send one of the second taps back? Oh, well, um, we don't know if we'll be getting any I said well, oh, um well, you've got sets of Presto taps. Um, you know, I can certainly send these back or pay the extra. Uh, send these back and have a set of Presto once you will have a bottoming tap in. But basically, they sold me something they didn't have. Um, and I don't think they had the Presto ones either. So they refunded me the price of one tap of the set, a third of the cost price. Um, yeah, I use RDGs a lot. I'm normally quite happy with them, but yeah, that, that disappointed me from them. But anyway, hopefully one day they'll get them back in stock and uh, I will order the one I need. But what I'm going to have to do to bottom out this thread is take one of these two second taps. Make sure I've got it. Yeah, one of the two. And I'm going to have to grind the point back to make a bottoming tap. So that's my next job. And then we'll put the bottoming tap in. The so high carbon tap. Um, it feels like high carbon too tell by the colour of the sparks as opposed to high speed steel so being very gentle with this not even getting it hot as you can see I can touch the end and just gradually taking it down to remove the taper I'm 
a pot of cooling here somewhere, that's what I could be using. But I am taking it really, really easy with this. So, improvised plug tap going in. And that's it, bottomed out. Make sure it doesn't tear out the last thread by keeping the pressure. There we go. Okay, um, so that's the tapping done. Now we need the holes in the side. So we've got to be careful with this now because there are four clearance holes on the corners but the two central ones for the steam chest cover don't go right through um, obviously because they would then pierce into the uh, the steam ways uh, or you know the, the steam paths so the 3 16th side which is the smaller side on this little block needs to be facing down so that we can drill the holes I think they're 7 ba quarter deep from this space because this is the side that the uh, steam chest cover goes on so just bear that in mind guys um, yeah so that's pretty much the story there okay so I've just picked up zero zero smack in the center with a wobble pin you've seen me do that loads of times so uh, six holes the two center ones are tapped holes 7 ba quarter deep and the four outer ones are clearance on 7 ba bolts to bolt uh, through the cover through the chest into the cylinder and the two centre ones just hold the cover onto the steam chest. Right, okay, these two. So, um, centre about, I'm on zero, 11.32 up and down, which is 0 0.3438, and back and forth from centre, 35.64s, 0.5469. Uh, okay, so we'll set up those datums now and basically drill the holes. So I think I'll just centre drill the six holes first. So that's on zero datum in the centre and 3438 on the DRO. There'll be a 2.05 drill. Okay, that should do it. 3438 the other way. A little bit more dip. Let's speed that up a touch. It's doing about 1200, it's doing 1500 RPM now. Okay, we'll leave it on that datum. Uh, 5469. Come on. Okay. I'm just going to mark that. That looks quite close to the edge. I'll go the other way. 5469. Let's make sure I haven't messed up. No, they do look right. I was just thinking it looked close to this edge, but this one looks very similar. Hmm. Okay, go for it. Sometimes you've just got to take a little look at things as you go along. Okay. Forty six nine. 
and then up the other way, three fourths, three eight, too far. <laughs> Six nine. I've got the parallel set in the center, as you can see. That means I can drill through the four outer ones without hitting my parallel. So I've got the 2.6 mil drill out. I haven't got the 2.05 mil drill out yet. So let's drill through the four corners. Good. Okay. get the general idea I'll bring you back and we'll drill those two center ones at 2.05 so back on center for this hole now it calls for a tapped hole 7BA quarter deep got a number 46 drill um, which is 2.05 mil so what I'm going to do is touch off and I can actually drill it well 250 is a quarter I'm going to go 300 deep the part is 7.16 thick, so there's plenty of meat in it I'll go 300 deep and that guarantees that I'm going to get the tap down to the full depth so I'm just going to come down and touch the set of zero on my quill DRO, set it into Imperial and drill a hole with a 46 drill, 300 south deep. That's 150. Taking it very gently. That's 200. Two fifty. Two eighty three hundred. Okay, same on the next one. So tap the holes now. Usual method. I'll put the first tap in now. We'll put the plug through these because it's given me a depth. I just pop the cover on top on those four bolts. Screw the bolt in there. I just happen to have six seven BA bolts. And there we are, they all line up nicely. And actually my outer edges on the two parts line up perfectly. You'd think it was designed that way. Well there we are guys, that's the uh, steam chest and cover completed, every detail done on those. I do need to make the four holes that go into the um, cylinder, I haven't put those four holes in. I'll probably put those in off camera, but no problem, it's just four tapped holes for this to bolt on the side. Um, so that's that for this part. Um, as usual, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you all very soon. Cheers now.